I took my ex in after she was physically abused, got back together, then broke up after I caught her in a slew of lies, then found out she had a baby nine months later. My ex and I were off and on for around three years. The entirety of our problems revolved around her relationship with her abusive ex-husband. This relationship was unfortunately necessitated by the co-parenting of the children they have together, so I was always weary from observing patterns of appropriate and inappropriate interactions between the two. Unfortunately, mostly the latter was true. Last year, I'd finally had enough confirmation of the inappropriate relationship she had with her ex-husband to put my foot down and end our relationship. Overall, I'd felt good about my decisions, aside from irrationally wondering what I could have done differently to avoid being cheated on. Then, point three months later, I arrived home from work to find her waiting for me on my doorstep. She showed signs of physical abuse and told me a long story of her being beaten pretty severely in front of her children. I told her I would help her under certain conditions. My empathy for her and her situation mudded my confidence in ending our relationship. I knew I absolutely did the right thing for myself, but it led to a feeling of responsibility for her abuse and I felt as though I should help her. Classic mistake. The conditions that I gave her were that she would file a restraining order, file for custody of the shared children, and strongly consider pressing charges against her ex-husband. Though I was bitter, it was not my place to act offensively against this man, so I left that up to her. My intention was to protect her from herself. As she went along with those conditions, I slowly relaxed my strong boundaries and before I knew it, my love for her made me vulnerable again. We'd decided to get back together and things went great for a few months. Then, I lost my job. I was doing well for myself. I even had a strong plan to come out of my layoff quickly with even better employment without dipping into my savings. But that one sign of trouble was enough to make her jump ship. She spent a week away from home, telling me she would be back each night she was away. But every night, she'd have some reason she wasn't coming home. The first three nights, she had reasonable excuses and things seemed okay. The fourth night, I started to become unsure. The fifth night, she started an argument with me that seemed to come from nowhere. After that, I became concerned. This woman has a method to her deception. Fabricating arguments is a talent of hers. Before I'd learned the depth of her dishonest nature, I noticed she'd argue with me to make cancelled plans my fault. I wasn't sure if this was relevant to the week she was away from home, but I definitely became concerned. This concern led to me become observant and investigative. I went looking for holes in her story and within an hour, I found several. The people she said she was with dot 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 were vacationing abroad. The papers she claimed to have filed dot 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 not in the system. Our storage unit, cleaned out. But worst of all, I found videos posted on TikTok by one of her kids of them at the ex-husband's house spanning the entire week she had been gone. Though I was tragically unsurprised, I was still in shock. I gave an ultimatum to her, saying that she needed to be home that night or I couldn't be with her anymore. For context, her ex lives nine hours away, so that would help me prove that I was mistaken in some way. She agreed and ultimately bailed. That was not unlike her and I was once again confident in my decision to end our relationship. Until this day, she thinks I believe her lies and that's how I would like it to stay. Now, fast forward nine months after our breakup dot 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 she had a baby. She and her ex-husband have since been remarried. I'm left trying to recall repressed memories to figure out if it's even possible for me to have gotten her pregnant. If I did, there's nothing I can do but know I have a child in a toxic home, bearing the name of a horrible man. I'm left with a heavy heart, but I do think I remember she was on her period when she left. Time will tell as I inevitably watch the baby grow through pictures on Facebook that I shouldn't see. If you like the story hit the like and don't forget to subscribe the channel and thanks for watching.